Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing well. So welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Kanika Kapahi and I make videos related to beauty, fashion and lifestyle. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. So by the title, you can see that what today's video is about. Today's video is about a Nika haul. I posted a poll like two, three days back. Uh, of my Nika cartoon and most of you said yes you want to see the haul so yes here I am showing you all the products that I picked up Nika is running a monsoon sale uh, which have like up to 40 to 50 percent off so I just thought of picking some stuff up um, I got a gift card on my birthday so I wanted to purchase things from the longest time and finally I purchased and I will be showing you all the stuff that I picked up though I mainly focused on skincare because I do love skincare and I have a lot of makeup so I have picked up makeup as well but the things which were on my wish list so yeah without wasting any more time we should get into the video so this is how the Nika cartoon looks like it's huge I know that right so I will be just you know picking up randomly and showing you all the products that I picked up so the first thing that I picked up is this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. This is how it looks like. It was on my wish list from the longest time. It's in the shade Rosé in the air. It is the perfect dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I don't own that palette. So I just thought of trying this one out. I will be doing a dedicated video on this palette. Let's swatch some shades. Let's swatch this glitter shade right here. Oh my god, they are pigmented. And let's watch this transition shade. Oh, this eyeshadow palette is pigmented. This one is so affordable, like for $4.99, what you get in $4.99, right? So yeah, this was the first thing that I picked up. Then I picked up uh, this lash from a PAC Cosmetics. It's PAC 53. I love PAC lashes. Like PAC makes one of the best and the most affordable lashes. Like I only use PAC and yeah, Beacos lashes. I swear by Beacos lashes. I am also wearing the lashes from Beacos. By the way, uh, this makeup tutorial is also coming on my channel. So wait for that. So I picked up in the style uh, 53. They are like little blown out from the outer edges so I really like that style then I picked up another pair of lashes from pack cosmetic only this is the pack m72 I love their m70 line even 71 72 73 75 I have almost all of them and I literally love these lashes if you are doing some like you know dramatic looks and all that stuff these lashes are perfect to go for and they like add very voluminous and they give basically life to your look so yeah i really really like to buy these lashes for that extra looks that i create so yeah the second pair i picked up is this one then after that I picked up the most awaited highlighter of all time which is the Maybelline Master Chrome. I know I'm pretty late to pick this up like people are already raving using abusing this highlighter but I am very late to pick this up. They have two shades rose gold and gold. I thought of picking up gold and they are butter like they're seriously butter. I can't wait to wear this highlighter. This is so pretty and uh, I picked this up on discount only and uh, I can't wait to wear this off. Then from Maybelline, I picked up the Fit Me Loose Powder as well. Again, on my wish list from the longest time. People are raving about this. People have finished three tabs of this. I have been seeing a lot of people using this loose powder. I wanted to pick this up from the longest time and yes, I finally picked it up. I picked the shade light medium. I think this shade goes perfect with me. So yeah, I can't wait to use this powder. After that, I picked up a Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Again, such a raved out product. I really like the doe foot applicator of the concealer. It's more of a like tart shape tape though I don't have tart shape tape but it, it is set to be the perfect dupe for a tart shape tape. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this out as well. 
Okay, then I picked up this Nivea Micellar Skin Breath Rose Water. Like it's a micellar water in the variant rose. They have like the original variant which comes in like a blue packaging. But I thought of picking this pink one. And I was running out of my previous micellar water. I was using the NYX one. Like I have a little bit. I am about to run out. Um, I really, really like the NYX one. It just removes all your makeup. I don't know, it doesn't smell like roses though, but yeah, I'm very excited to try this out. I'm so happy that uh, these brands are coming out with all the products in their ranges. Like I know Nivea had uh, micellar waters, but I think they have just launched it in India like two, three months back. So yeah, I thought of just trying this one out. Then I picked up this Nivea Soft Light Moisturizer. Who doesn't love Nivea Light Moisturizer, right? I have finished so many tubes, though I have almost 10 to 15 moisturizer but i still pick this up because this is something that reminds me of my childhood and i wanted to pick this up and they also introduced the tube packaging as well which is so convenient and whenever i'm not in a mood to slather a lot of skincare i just apply this and go to bed and that's it after that i picked up this neutrogena hydro boost capsule in serum yes this really intrigued me this capsule in serum that's why i picked this up by the way i love buying serums serums are like my one of my favorite steps to do i generally don't miss serums so yeah i just thought of picking this up let's open this up and show you that how gorgeous the packaging is see oh my god i love the packaging like basically it just you know when you pump out let's try some though i haven't tried it okay it's pretty hydrating and it smells exactly like the hydro boost i can't wait i really really like hydro boost moisturizer and now i can't wait to try this off okay then i picked up this belief skincare kit i wanted to pick this up from the longest time i know i'm saying it for everything but uh, when i saw so many people raving about this skincare regimen regime i just thought of picking this up but at that time it was out of stock so i just put it in my wish list and uh, when it came in stock they increased the price yes previously it was for a triple nine now i picked it up for one four double nine which is 1500 but that's okay we are getting five products which is travel size and i think they will last at least 10 to 15 uses which is pretty good to try out the product and to purchase the full size right so i will tell you the things that are present in the kit the first thing is this belief creamy cleansing foam moist I am planning to try the whole kit on my Instagram, maybe on my IGTV. So follow me there if you haven't because I will try this whole kit over there. So if you are interested, you can follow me over there. So the second thing we have is Bergamot Herbal Extract Toner. I really like the sizes of these basically. They are pretty practical. Then there is Believe in Truth Numero 10 Essence. This is how it looks like. I really like the packaging of the Essence. They have like a pump dispenser. Then we have Believe Moisturizing Eye Balm. And for the final, we have Believe the True Cream Aqua Balm, which everyone is raving about. It literally smells so good and I can't wait to use it. For the last, I picked up a Biotique products. I wanted to try Biotique skincare products from the longest time. They are known to be one of the most affordable brands in skincare and which actually is like a good brand. I've seen so many people raving about this so I just thought of uh, giving it a try. So the first thing that I picked up is this Biotique Bio Cucumber Pore Tightening Toner with Himalaya Waters. So this is how it looks like. And they are seriously so affordable you guys. Though I haven't opened it but let's open it and see what it feels like. This is how it looks like. It's there. Okay it has like a very lemony kind of fragrance like a very refreshing kind of fragrance then i picked up this a morning nectar visibly for a flawless skin moisturizer 
like I said I picked up the whole regime like whole set this is their morning vector and this is how it looks like I really like the quantity of the moisturizer though and then I have this biotique bio seaweed revitalizing anti-fatigue eye gel I got really intrigued when I read this anti-fatigue eye gel so I just thought of picking this up I was about to pick the lip balm as well but it got out of stock so they legit smell really nice to be honest then after that I picked up Bio Dandelion Visibly Ageless Serum for all skin types and this was below 500 guys this was 230 rupees like where do you get serums at such you know at such low prices i really like the bottle of the serum but i haven't tried it yet so i need to try it and i will surely give my feedback to you guys or maybe i will try it with you guys so we have to see that right then i picked up this bio fruit uh whitening deep uh, depigmentation and tan removal face pack though i have picked it up for tan removal to be honest i cannot comment on deep pigmentation and all that stuff so yeah i'm very excited to try this out and the last product that i picked up biotech advance uh, bio papaya revitalizing tan removal scrub this is something like a very raved out product from their brand like i have seen so many people talking about uh, scrub that it really really works for your tanning and all that stuff this is how the tab looks like Though I really like papaya in my skincare because papaya is really really good for your face. So yeah, that was that for today's video. I hope you guys liked all the stuff that I picked up from Nika. These things were on my wish list from the longest time and finally I picked them up and I can't wait to use them. If you guys want me to review anything in this, you can comment down below. I would love to. You will see all the products in action super soon in my videos. So yeah, that's it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram because I post some really different content over there. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye.